everyone. Today we're diving into Beautify's eye adaptation feature, a powerful tool for creating realistic lighting transitions in your scenes. Whether you're building caves, indoor spaces, or complex outdoor environments, this feature will take the immersion to the next level. So what exactly is eye adaptation? Just like in real life, when you walk from a dark room into bright sunlight, your eyes need time to adjust. Eye adaptation simulates this natural process by automatically adjusting your scene's exposure as players move between different lighting conditions. This creates smooth, realistic transitions instead of jarring exposure jumps. Let's get started. You'll find eye adaptation under lens and lighting effects. Simply enable it, and we're ready to configure our settings. First up, we need to set our exposure range. The minimum exposure controls your darkest areas, while maximum exposure handles the brightest. Think of these as boundaries. They prevent your scene from becoming unrealistically dark or blindingly bright. Next, we have our adaptation speeds. Light adaptation speed controls how fast the exposure adjusts when going from dark to bright areas. Dark adaptation speed does the opposite. Here's a pro tip. In real life, your eyes adapt to light much faster than to darkness, so set your light adaptation speed higher for maximum realism. A key parameter is the middle gray. This parameter is the neutral brightness your auto exposure targets, roughly how bright an average surface should look. Lower values make scenes appear darker, higher values make them appear brighter. Now, let's explore the advanced options that really make this feature shine. The metering mode gives you two powerful options. Full frame mode analyzes your entire screen, and here's something cool. Since many custom masks end up giving central pixels more weight anyway, we've added a convenient new parameter called center weight. This does exactly what it sounds like. It gives more importance to the pixels around the center of your screen when measuring frame luminance. Higher values focus on what's directly in front of you, and zero treats all areas equally. Mask mode lets you manually control which pixels affect the exposure calculation using custom masks. Perfect for complex scenes where you want precise control as the alpha channel determines the weight at pixel level. Here's a cool option. Metering minimum distance. This excludes objects right next to your camera from the calculation. No more wonky exposure caused by that torch you're holding or bright UI elements. Let me show you this in action. Watch what happens as I move from this bright outdoor area into this dark tent. See how the exposure gradually adjusts? That's eye adaptation working its magic. Without it, this transition would be instant and jarring. Notice how I've set my light adaptation faster than dark adaptation. This creates that realistic effect where emerging into sunlight is quick, but adjusting to darkness takes time. Quick tips for getting the best results. Test your settings in actual gameplay scenarios, not just static scenes. What looks good standing still might not work when you're moving around. For caves and underground areas, use a wider exposure range with slower dark adaptation. For indoor-outdoor transitions, moderate settings with center weighting work great. And remember, subtle is better. Eye adaptation should enhance immersion, not distract from it. And there you have it. Eye adaptation will transform your static lighting into dynamic, responsive environments that feel naturally realistic. Your players will notice the difference immediately. Thanks for watching. If this helped you out, smash that like button and subscribe for more Unity tutorials. Drop a comment below showing off your eye adaptation setups. I'd love to see what you create.